You guys, I got something in the mail today. Okay, you guys have been sending us shirts and all kinds of awesome fun stuff. And I'm having problems. Like I like to write down who sends a shirt and um, who it was on the shirt and I can't get it to stay on. So I was originally like this, this shirt Sharon sent. So I write Sharon with Sharpie up here. That's New York Treasure Joe. And um, this shirt, you can see it, but on like a black shirt, it's really hard to see. And after I've washed it a bunch of times, I can't see it. So I started cutting out patches like this and I'm writing on them with Sharpie. And it's fine, but it's not the greatest, like this, Beth. But it's kind of coming off, not the greatest. I looked online to see if there was some sort of an iron-on thing. And they make this machine. It's a Dymo machine. I just got it in the mail today, and I'm super excited. And um, it's, a, it's a little printer, you know, like a P-Touch machine is what the one I know. P-Touch machine. I have one for all kinds of stuff that I label at home. But this one, you can get a paper or a label, I guess. And it's specifically iron on, this is like $3, um, the iron on refill. So it's a label refill and you can print out the name and iron it on. So smart, I'm so excited. I wanna see how it works. So I'm going to iron it on and I can do this now on all the shirts that you guys have sent us and all the fun stuff because some people we can't think because um, we can't in the moment know who sent it. So that's what I'm hoping will happen. When I was reading the reviews of this, a lot of people wrote that they have, like their mom is in a, um, a, a senior home or something. And they were so happy to find this because they could put her name on all of her clothes. So when it gets laundered, they go back to her. Um, or kids, like moms with their kids in their backpacks and their clothes that friends have the same outfit or whatever it would be. Or twins or whatever it would be. This was really handy. So. Um, I'm excited. This is exactly what I was looking for. Pretty cheap fix for it. And I was just going to do it, but I decided I'll show you guys because some of you guys might have the same issue. Or maybe you make something um, like quilts and you make them for your family and you want it to say your name or something forever. Grandma, you know, Steph. Grammy Steph made this for you. So you can actually put it on there, iron it on, and it'll, hopefully it'll be on there forever. So I'm going to put, make a couple of these. And then I'll do a laundry load in hot and see what happens. See how well it holds up versus this one that I just peeled off. This was just an iron-on um, patch, like for, like say you ripped a hole in your jeans. And it, it just didn't work. I washed it once and it's not staying on very good. Maybe because it's a stretchy fabric. But we'll see how much better this one is versus my method. And if it's great, that's fantastic. So it might be helpful to some of you guys. So let's see how it goes. Okay, batteries are in. Didn't come with batteries. Takes four double A's on. Okay, so now I'm gonna write Beth. I don't know how big it's gonna print or what's gonna happen. There, you guys can see it. So Beth, and I'm gonna hit print. Printing. So cool. Okay, cut. All right, look at it. It's so cute, it says Beth in there. I don't know if I peel this off, I think that I do. Let's check. Um, set a dry iron on medium high temperature. Remove any wrinkles from fabric, ironing the section where you want to place the label, place the label on the fabric cover with a cloth, preferably cotton, and press the iron on the label for 10 seconds. What's cool is I think I can just cut this little label down to just say Beth, which is pretty tiny. There, I just peeled it off. Cute. So the smaller, the better. That's so fun. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna cut it tiny and iron it. Okay, while my iron is heating up, I'm gonna trim it. Cause all I need it to say is just Beth. Thanks Beth for the shirt, by the way, it's super cute. Okay, Beth trimmed up, ready to go. I got some um, cotton here. Now the question is where am I gonna put it? I don't want it to be on a stretchy part, so right here on this little thing might be nice on that seam, but I might have to cut it down if I do that. I'll just put it 
right here at the top, on top of that. Okay, so there it is. Covering it with, did I move it? No, okay, it's fine. 10 seconds. Oh, it says don't move the iron as it might dislodge it from the position. <laughs> so I'm wiggling it. Okay. Repeat three times with a focus on the label corners, allowing sufficient cooling between each prep. Okay. Let's take it off. Let's check it. It's on there. This is going to be great. Cute, it looks adorable. I think I could have cut it smaller, trimmed the edges, and stuck it right here on this thicker part here. The part that won't move as easily. I guess I could print another one out and just see what happens. On. It already says Beth. Let's just print a new one. This is the cutter button here. Okay, Beth, okay, I cut the new one. I trimmed it, I made the corners rounded just to see what happens. Hopefully I don't move it. Still looks like it's on there. Okay, let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did move it a little bit, but it'll be okay. So there's 10. This feels like it's on there pretty good. I can get a fingernail on there just a bit, but this isn't big enough to even bother Steve. It's not gonna itch him. Like he hates having tags on his shirts and he always rips them off. So, and usually I'll write on the shirt and say who sent it on the tag, but that tag gets ripped off. <laughs> so this is um, a good way. This would be great for men's uniforms and stuff too. Um, it feels like it's cold actually already, cool enough. So that would be good. Like if your kids are in school, you have um, uniforms at school, that'd be nice. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Didn't ruin a shirt at all. Yay! This is going to be perfect. It's going to be so easy to see. Just printed one for Sharon. I'm going to do it for Sharon's shirt. And I'm going to print one for everybody that sent a shirt. <laughs> It'll be nice. One thing I did notice on the instructions here is it says washing. Use mild detergent or alkaline detergents for washing with a temperature setting below 150. Garments with correctly attached labels can be washed under a number of times. That's good. Um, the use of bleach for an overextended period of time may discolor the label. Probably won't be using bleach on any of these uh, dark shirts. Um, removing the label, that's good to know. You can remove it if you need to. Like say you put room 143, if your mom's in room 143 or whatever, if you wanna switch it to room 27 or whatever, you could take it off. That's great. Set the iron to a medium high temperature, press the iron down firmly on the label and place for 10 seconds, remove the iron using tweezers, take a corner of the label and begin to peel back the backing off the fabric. Perfect. So there's an option for taking it off. I'm excited. I think this is a great purchase and a great thing to have. And I think you could do it on all kinds of things. Like you could put it on the inside, say you made a purse or you made a bag or, um, you know, you want hot laundry in this one, cold in this one, or you just want to put something cute on there. You can make a little label to identify. It's so fun. Look at that little Sharon one. Look how much better that looks. This is eventually going to fade off Sharon. This is where my label was that looks ugly underneath it that I ripped off. But look how nice that is. Steve's gonna be able to see it every time he goes to put it on and then he can remember, oh, thanks Sharon, when he sees this science shirt, you know? It's cute, I love it, such a good idea. I'll show you guys what it looks like after I wash it. On this shirt, I used a fabric marker and if you look, it says Meg Clink, but you can't see it at all like it's been washed and it's it's coming off like I can barely see what it says it actually looks better on that video in this bright light than it does in our closet I can't see it so Meg Clink doing this to your shirt thank you okay so I just wrote in Meg Clink and I looked under here I'm like wonder what else it can do so it has a number pad with all the numbers 
It's got a little one, two, three button, so you can put numbers on there. That's good. Or letter pad, I should say. Um, and it's got format, has settings. So you can change the size, the style, give it a border. That's cool. So let's do a border. So you can do a rounded border, a jagged border, triangle-ish border. What's that? Oh, it's an alligator. That's cute. Uh, train, hearts, oh, flowers, how cute. Or nothing, or underline, square. That's such a cute little idea. Let's do the alligator. <laughs> Print. I can't wait to see this little alligator. It's gonna be so cute. That's a long label right there. Oh, look at how cute that is. Can't get it to focus. That is so cute. So it's got a little alligator with a tail. I love it. I'm gonna put that on his little shirt right here. Oh, it's really cute, look. Right there, Meg Clink, alligator. Adorable. I love it. I'm making one right now for this cute Tesla shirt, Mike Decent. What I noticed in here in the settings, you can also change it from different fonts. You can do fonts, you can do italic, you can do sh a shadow and outline, vertical, bold, um, outlined. So that's kind of fun. You can do uppercase and lowercase. I didn't notice that until just now. You can do vertical. That's pretty cool. Should we give him a choo-choo train? <laughs> I'll do the outline. Okay, Mike D, there we go. And it's italicized. I'm gonna shrink the font. Um, there's a little button here, right here for upper and lowercase, so that was easy. Format size, okay. Large, extra large, extra small. Let's see how small extra small is. Okay, so here we got Mike D, outlined, extra small. These are just fun to do. It's a fun, oh, it's so tiny. It has to leave space on the sides, but look at how little that is. Okay, let me peel it off. But it has to leave space on the sides for you to be able to cut it. Oh my gosh, this is so tiny. All right, so I'm gonna cut this out and we'll see how tiny this is. Look at how tiny that is. It's so little. I'm gonna do it, let's go for it. Oh my gosh. It's so tiny. It's super tiny on there, but it's staying on there. Looks really good, I like it. All right, I've been doing a bunch of these. There's tons of them and they're so cute. So thank you to everybody who sent us all these awesome shirts. Gloria, this is yours, just tons of them. Linda. Sharon, Everett, Anna, little, did a little one with hearts. And by the way, it seems like they're washing fine. I washed a bunch of them in cold and they're not coming off. So I'm going through Linda, um, Purple Pickles, and making little labels on all these. So thank you everybody who's given us some shirts. This is so fun. Thank you, we love you guys. and. If you guys um, don't know it, we really, really appreciate it. You guys are the best. You guys are the greatest. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your life.